Hello, this is a simple video on how to breed locusts. I've only been doing it about six weeks, but I have got every single stage uh, f from newborn locusts, what was just hatched within four hours ago, eggs, the large adult, and the locust. I'll be doing like a very of clips and then showing you the like most basic stuff you need. So basically, you need some little, little tubs like these. You need a hatchling tub. When they hatch, you put the cricket tub or whatever in there and they all can hatch out. You need the adult tub where they've got like quite a bit of soil. I'll explain that in a minute. And up there, you need a um, large adult tub so you can buy them. They change into adults and then you move into here. So first, you need a heat mat. The tank has to be pretty big. And half of the tank has to be on heat on the heat mat, and then the other half off, so they've like still got a bit, and it's about 30 Celsius in there. They've got a light on the top just because they like light, and um, they've got quite a lot of cabbage. I spray them even though you don't supposed to give them moisture because it can kill them or something. But I give them spray like every other day so the environment don't get dry, and I also spray the soil so that doesn't get dry. So when they're laying their eggs, it's pretty deep my finger to put it like that. like fingers worth of soil any compost and then you can take them out the eggs out that's what I do and um, then put them into like these little cartons these are fresh from today I took them out because it was like five six um, newly fresh laid eggs I'll show you the um, yeah, but this little guy here he's newborn locust so I'll be doing a close of him up, but they're really cool. It only took like three weeks for them to hatch, but that's them like fully sitting on the heat mat. This should be hatching tomorrow, because that was took out like a day after, and it was done a day after. So yeah. And by the way, when they first hatch, the white and they turn like greenish, and then they get the proper colours. And it's probably I think it's about six months until they turn into fully grown, massive adults with wings that fly around. So let's do some close-up clips and show you all the things you need. Right, to start off, you go and buy a simple small tank and buy a box of locusts. You obviously have to get the extra large um, locusts, like the form before they turn into the actual adults because you don't want to buy them because you don't know how old they are. And then you just leave them in there, feed them, oats, cabbage, whatever. Um and wait until they like shed into the adult skin and then you put them into a larger tank. Here is the adult tank. It's a bit messy because there's loads of sand on the floor just so they've got something to sit on instead of burning the feet. But quite a lot of like twigs or something and a little hidey hole like a toilet roll. You need a thermometer, that says 30 at the moment. I'm not going to move the camera because we won't be able to pick it up. Um, like the light climbing on the top. When you're cleaning them out, pick them up by like the middle of the body, just behind the head, so you won't hurt them or anything, and put them into a tub. Then you need to feed them like cabbage. You need to like spray them every other day. You need to spray this every single day because when they have eggs, it's a shame because I've just took them out. But like you'll see a little froth thing on the top, and then it'll be going down like that, and then like halfway down, there's loads, loads, and loads, loads of eggs. So you've got to be careful when you're taking them out. You could just use tubs, but mine don't like the tubs because they're picky. And usually you can tell the difference between boys and girls because the boys are a lot more pinky and smaller than the girls. The girls are a lot more larger, like yellowy, greeny colour. And don't worry if they're like hitching a ride on each other because they'll probably end up having it like after a while. So there's the adult tank. These are a few of the locust eggs, what about ready to hatch? It's such a shame the camera don't pick it up, but I just picked it up really carefully and put it up to the light. And you can see the locust eyes and everything, and it looks really, really cool. So I tried to get a clip, but it probably won't pick up. They have around about 50 eggs per time, and a good 95% of them will hatch, because I found that out so far. So basically you just spray the tub of to top of this and then keep it on the heat mat obviously turn your heat mat off, off overnight because that's what i've done so they don't get roasted and only keep it on like when you're in the house i keep mine on for a maximum of five hours a day so it took three weeks for them to hatch that way even though you could do them constantly but then i don't know what really the heat does constantly to them but here is the egg tub 
I'll try to find like one of them large um, foamy things they do. But well, let me just get a clip and see if I can get it up close to the light. I won't go close to the light, but just showing you these is just a couple of what's like scattered everywhere. You can see when like just before they're ready to touch, you can see a black eye and then like the outline of them. It'd be really cool if I could get a video of one of them hatching. So hopefully if I watch these all night, I might get something, but I think I fall asleep. So let's show you the other kind of egg case you'll see. Here's another egg example you'll see. It's all foam and then at the bottom it starts to show a load of eggs. There's another 50 eggs hidden underneath the soil and I don't disturb them. These are already about a week or two old and they're really, really big. Because they're really thin and like stringy when they're first laid. So after a couple of weeks you'll slowly see them progress into the natural form which I'll show you. Here is the hatchery. Obviously this is the first time I've ever had locust babies, so I'm really excited. You can see them like little guys all over the leaves. There's like one of the um, plastic tank here. Little tiny, tiny dude. I put my finger next to him. Like they're really, really delicate and small. There's my finger next to it. Basically egg box. There's still eggs to hatch. I'm going to try to open it. Like I've given them loads of cabbage and then I've given them a sponge because they can't drown on a sponge and because they're really thick anyway. But they can't drown on the sponge and it's a lot easier for them to still get moisture even though they're supposed to get it out of the food. But there's just a foot. I need to give them loads of room. I'll let the other hatching box that will be hatching soon go in here. And then that'll be it for this tank. And then obviously I'll put them all in a massive community tank. And they're going up. So Cute locusts! If you have any questions or queries about breeding them, Crickets, locusts, um, mealworms, etc. I haven't managed to breed waxworms yet, but I'm in the process of trying it. Superworms, email me and I will help you out. Remember, subscribe and rate, comment if you want on the video. So, hope you've enjoyed it and it's been very helpful. See you soon.